Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show how to install a mid server on a server machine. Let's get started. Requirements. What are our requirements? One, mid server placement consideration. Install mid servers as close to the targets as possible where it has the most available bandwidth between it and what will either be discovered or integrated with. So things to consider around the mid server placement includes available bandwidth, geographic location, IP access to the targets, DMZs. For example, deploying a mid server in London to discover a data center in Sydney is not recommended. Always place a mid server in a location that is not only close to the targets but also has the most available bandwidth between it and the target. If your network uses a DMZ zone, DMZ means demetrialized zone. Okay, and if your network security protocols limit port access from within the network to the DMZ. Consider deploying a mid server on a host within the DMZ as well as to communicate with the devices in the DMZ. Second one, deployment types. So, system requirements for the mid server host are determined by the needs of their individual products that requires the mid server. So, there are two different types of deployment types that is, standard and high resource. What is standard deployments? What is high resource deployment? Standard deployments considered because their mid server shares the same minimum disk space and memory requirement. For example, discovery, event management, integrations, orchestration, service mapping. The minimum standard requirements pertain to both a single product and the combined product deployment. You can deploy a single mid server for multiple standard products without significantly increasing the disk or memory requirements. Okay, that is called standard deployments. That is nothing but uh, you can deploy a single mid server for multiple standard products or for multiple applications to use it. Okay, without increasing the disk or memory increase requirements. High resource deployments, for example, cloud management platform operational intelligence or processing intensive and require more resources for each mid server than the standard products. Install mid server for these products on a dedicated host that do not support mid server for other products. Okay. The simple thing is standard can be used for multiple products. High resource mid servers can be used for only single type of products. Like, for example, if you are using cloud management platforms or operational intelligence, you need to have a dedicated mid server for that one, not the shared mid server. The third one is supported systems. So mid server can be installed on Tesla servers, that is Windows and Linux. Mid servers installed on Windows servers can communicate with all types of operating systems. Whereas a mid server installed on a Linux operating system cannot communicate with Windows devices. Fourth one, number of mid servers required. We need to decide how many number of mid servers we require. For example, based number on numbers, that means targeted systems, or that means uh, um, if it is integrated to third party, how many records are integrated uh, or how many devices it is discovering. So based upon the number of records or number of the targets and also based upon the geography. Okay, like uh, for example, each continent level, we need to have at least one uh, mid server. Uh, if you are a domain, if you are organization that span all over the world, then each continent have at least one mid server is deployed. Installation of mid server includes the following task. We need to create a mid server user in service now user. Okay. And then download and install the mid server in the Windows server. 
and then after the installation of mid server we need to validate the mid server then only your task is finished so these three tasks are must and should uh, for the installation of mid server types of installations okay first one is native windows installer requires a non administrator service account setup on the windows host that has log on service security policy right okay this is the newly introduced from the paris version okay and the second one is service now mid server installer this is traditional one uses an installer dot bat file located in the agent directory when downloading the installer zip rq from the service now instance this method of installation allows for the windows service account to have administrative rights we need to have the administrative rights to run this installer okay in the traditional way you need to have uh, um, you know uh, admin rights okay in the new way that is native windows installer that you do, you can have only the log on service account okay that's it so now let's see how to install the mid server on the windows server log in to your personal development instance go to mid server module servers see if there are any mid servers are installed okay i can find one mid server is already installed called ns blog or name uh, ns blog uh, and which is in app okay so um, i will try to install another mid server to show you a demo like how to install a mid server okay to install the mid server uh, okay i have set up my virtual machine and uh, let me go to uh, my virtual machine this is a new uh, name service now blog is a new service now virtual machine uh, windows 2016 server so let me uh, let me try to install in this um, uh, windows 2016 server and let's see how it works okay before installing it you need to go to your own um, instance okay and go to item guide up guided setup go to item guided click on this okay um in the item guided setup you can configure your mid server directly from here or if you know all the steps you can directly configure like um, uh, creating the users or uh, validating the mid server everything you can do directly or you can come to item garret setup and you can configure from here mm, this gives you the step by step procedure what you need to do okay uh, click on get started So from here, you can set up your mid server by configuring these three tasks. Okay, let's get started. So to configure the mid server, the first task is create a mid user. Okay, so you need to create a user in the service now instance. Okay, with mid server role. Okay, click on configure. You can create a mid server user, new mid server user from here directly or from the user tables also you can create directly. Okay. But uh, I can see the existing mid server users. There is a mid user. It is already there. Okay. Let me create a new one, new user. Okay. Called something like a snow mid. Okay. Snow mid is uh, my new user. Okay. Let me give all the letters as in small letters. Okay. Snow mid and enter the password. You can give your own password. Okay. And when you click on submit, the user automatically created. Okay. Click on submit. The snow mid is created let's see uh, if the user is there in the user table or not okay go to the organizations and users 
open the users in the user id snow meter okay you can see uh, the user is already created and check the roles it should have mid server role okay click on role and roles yes that is a soap query and the mid server role okay so then this user i can use in the uh, to configure the mid servers okay let's go back to your guided setup and um, you can mark as mark as complete okay. next thing uh, you need to download and install the mid servers okay so if you want to download and install the mid server then you need to um, go to the mid server mid server mm, mid server and you have here download options okay uh, you have here downloads like windows uh, downloads and linux download okay windows msi download or windows uh, docker recipe download okay so you have only 64 bit configurations no 32 bit configurations okay now um let's log in into the windows server 2016 and we'll try to install okay so here uh let's go and go and try to log in uh, your personal instance okay login your personal development stands in your um, virtual machine or uh, uh, server okay windows server now go to mid server mid server downloads click on downloads and click on windows msi 64 bit download so let it download it is uh, like 370 mb so let's open the, uh, the documents. Uh, so I want to store the mid server installation in this um, uh, service now folder. Okay, service now folder. Inside here, I want to store the mid server. Mid server. Okay, so I have created the folder. Okay, so let it download. So it takes around one minute or two minutes, okay, approximately. And, uh, run this one, okay. So preparing to install. Okay, the service now mid server setup wizard is open so and click on next. Accept the terms, click on next. And you need to enter the authentication type basic, the service now installs URL, username and password. Okay, let's um, copy this URL. Okay, you should give the whole URL like HTTPS starting from HTTPS, okay. And what is the your um, username? That is a snow meet, right? And the, what is the password you have given? Okay, while creating the user account in the service now. Okay. Okay. If you are organization using proxy, okay, you can select the use proxy. Okay. If not, you can leave it empty. And then you need to click on test your connection okay and let's see if it is connected successfully or not yes connection tested successfully press next to continue okay close it and click on next now okay now what is the mid server name okay what uh what is the mid server name what would what you would like to give the mid server name any name uh, depends upon your choice or depends upon your organizations okay uh, mine is like service now blog okay uh, maybe 
I have already in this blog. Okay, now I will create a um, uh, like a snow blog mid server. Okay, snow blog or snow or uh, let me give my name. Okay, Naim. Okay, then you need to create a service account name. Okay, which you need to have. Okay, or here you can create a service account name by clicking on this one, or by going to users uh, control panel or system. Okay, you can give it um, uh, from here control uh, panel. Go to the user accounts. Okay, uh, go to the user account, manage another account. Okay, and click on add a user account. Okay. Then you can give an, uh, a new username like um, mid service, okay, or mid service, or uh, no, uh, let me give uh, snow mid service, okay, snow mid service password, okay. Okay. Uh, so then you can click on next. This field is required like password hint or something like that city. Uh, okay, password hint. Okay, next. So the snow mid service uh, local account is created. Click on finish. Okay, so you can give a uh, snow mid service, but uh, this user account should have the um, you know, uh, should have the logon as service rights okay let's give that logon app service okay click on this one and uh, okay uh it mini windows administrative tools okay uh local security policy click on local security policy okay and here uh, you have in the local policies click on uh, user rights assignment okay and here you have or log on service okay log on service click on this one and you need to give add user okay check names called we created snow mid uh, service okay snow mid service check names okay this one is added and added and okay click on okay so oh click on apply and okay Okay, so the user, so we gave the logon service to the user which we created. Okay, now go back to the installer and snow mid service. Okay, uh, so it will allow you to pull this name. Okay, now you can give you the password. Okay, valid mid server settings. Okay, so valid service settings, press next. Okay, close and next. So where you want to install the service now mid server, okay? Then I already created folder in the uh, Not here. See Windows. In the documents service now made. Okay, click OK and click on next. Okay, start the mid server after installation. Okay, let me click on next and install uh, 
let's wait for a few minutes uh, to install it okay copy new files Meanwhile, I will open the services to show that service is running or not. Okay, um, Windows or services. Okay, this is finished. search on services okay oh services now you can see um, browse for your service now meet server okay where is it So you can see the service now mid server with name is running automatically. Okay, it is already started and let's go back to your instance and see uh, this is running or this is up or not. Okay, go to here and you wait for some time to get it populated. Okay, wait for some time to populate it. Okay. So your uh, mid server is game. So click on this name new mid server and first before that you need to validate the mid server. Okay, by clicking on validate it. Click on validate. Okay, allow all applications, allow all capabilities, allow IP ranges. Okay, save and validate it. So it's validating. Okay, the status is showing its app and it's validating. You are on this all issue zero, so that's very good. And it is still validating. Let's wait for some time. Or reload it. We'll see it's validated or not. still validating yes it's validated and the status you can see this up okay uh, let's go to the list view you can see there are two mid servers which are running which are running and validated okay you can see the newly installed mid server name and the status is up okay so that is how you can install your mid servers on your windows server uh 2016 or 2012 or any servers okay which supported okay summary of windows mid server installation process flow using the native windows installer let's see the first one is create a mid server user with mid server role Next, download mid server installation file on the host. Create a service account on the host with logon service. Run the mid server installation. Start and validate the mid server. This is the complete process for mid server installation. In upcoming classes, we will see how to use this mid server in third party integrations like LDAP, REST integrations, or um, SOAP integrations, and SSO. Please do subscribe 
to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy online service now. Thank you very much for your time.